and define self-actualization um, better than I, I do. I'm, gonna, I'm going to, to describe it and then per, perhaps another individual will describe it for me. My self-actualization is I don't wanna, I want to do what I am comfortable of doing, what I am capable of doing and comfortable of doing. Um, that's really my, my without, without, without constraints, if, it, if, you, if you would say. That's my definition to, uh, to that. If you achieve that level, I think that's the nirvana. Yeah, I, I was going to say that my understanding of uh, Maslow's hierarchy of needs is that no individual is able to reach that height of self-actualization before all the other needs are met. So you're not able to reach self-actualization before you have shelter, before you have food to eat, before you have a community. So in, in terms of this is, we need to, or, the, or a country, or a community, or the world needs to, um, provide these for people in order for them to go from one step to the next. And like you said, the nirvana or the, the highest level is the self-actualization, which is where you are your best or your highest self. That's, um, I don't know if I answered your question or. Yeah, like, like the survival or like. Those are, you will not, not, survival. You will not be no. able to, yeah, you will not be able to uh. reach self-actualization if you have no food to eat or if yeah. you're, you know what I mean? You don't have time, you don't have intellectual energy to Absolutely. think about how you're yeah. gonna be amazing yeah. if you can't even feed your kids, if you can't, you know, take them to school, if you, you know what I mean? So, so, so it's from a gap, from a gap, uh, uh, generational gap perspective, um, uh, it's like between, between the 40s and today, between, you know, between um, coming from different parts of the world also, where I did not know that we were poor until I come to the United States. I did not know that every day I can eat meat until I come to the United States. I did not know that I can eat hamburger every day until I come to the United States. I did not eat hamburger every day. I ate mjaddara and burgul abanadura all the time. You know? And I did not know. Is that, is that really... Uh, because if you think about it, as a society, you have to provide all these needs in order for someone to really, truly bring your, your, your uh, creativity. Your best potential. And your best potential. And this is really the ultimate, uh, the ultimate uh, the betterment of a society. But if we still have homeless, we still have people are uh, fighting to, 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 find, right. to find food on the table, you ask them to be creative, how, are, how can they be? And then you judge them because they're not. Yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, one more question? So, um, maybe after, after the program? Okay. I'm on the go now, okay? <laughs> uh, I want to thank you for listening. Thank, thank you for giving me the time.